welcome to the next exciting portion of this fatal review. Um, I happen to be looking at the contents, uh, the table of contents again, and it's because this is where we start in on the magic section. And first of all, I'm not sure what happened at the end of the last. Uh, the combat section. I'm not sure what happened to the sound. It just went off. Uh, I don't know why, but anyway, uh, I was looking here because there are 18 chapters and Magic just starts the 11th, so I may see what I can do to punch things up because this is a long damn game. But anyway, uh, let me go to page 418 because that's what page this goes to. For some reason they decided that wasn't important to have in the table of contents. But here we go. Magic and Fatal. What exactly is magic? How does it function? Most common folk in the game believe magic exists but are unaware of magical theories and practices. Ignorance, misconceptions, uncertainties, Reactions may range from avoidance or scorn to banishment or murder. Yada yada. Typical fantasy, uh, kind of like ask your GM, which is fine, not a problem there. Uh, they call it uh, the fifth element here, which kind of a mistake brings to mind a much better genre and setting and entertainment overall that has nothing to do with Fatal and pretty much makes you just want to go yeah that's a good movie I'm ready to go watch it but unfortunately we're here so we'll continue with this instead um hold on a second here okay let's see if we can Let's see if we can continue with this at all, or if they're gonna. Yeah, okay, so. Having a little trouble with the uh, on screen camera thing here, but anyway, I'll just continue. Um, okay. Fire, earth, water, air, ether, ether. Lava, ash, powder, steam, boils? I don't, mm, I'm not sure about that one. Urine, blood, I guess those are humors. That kind of makes sense. Lightning, disease, dust. I'm getting kind of iffy on that. Smoke, mud, poison, gas, rain, herbs, bile's another humor, I'll give them some leeway there, bubble, what does this have to do with acid, fog, I think I see what they were going for, maybe, and weirdly there's nothing in the center of this pentagram for the magic, I I mean, it's may maybe it's not universal, but it seems like there should be something in the center. It's kind of symbolic, but okay. Uh, and then he goes on to talk about it, and uh, it was heavier and more solid metal. It, the more it diffuses. Uh, I don't know what all this is about, but it goes into ceremonial magic and spell failure and chaos magic and the sounds that you make and then it gets into ingredients and rituals and magic points and per spell level you get a certain amount of magic points and then you've got your typical disciplines like annihilation convocation deterioration um, supportation things that support others, okay. Um, 
the annihilation if you're a level one you can annihilate a cat or 1d10 life points worth of something and similar charts for everything for whatever reason no artwork and they go right on into spells and the ceremonial magic for some reason is italicized instead of just saying ceremonial magic who knows why we are not to question the great Byron Hall so and of course spells have all any number of uh, properties and attributes like discipline range area chant which was probably the words ingredients ritual I guess I can see why it doesn't well yeah but if you're if you've got ritual why wouldn't you just say it was also ceremonial because there's where you can put that instead of having to have another thing that says ceremonial or single uh, maybe I'm overthinking his game a little bit so ablation allows the caster to remove an internal organ from a target why would you need or want to do that you have to touch them which is you need to use your brawling skill and a cold shot if you can use a brawling skill and a cold shot with a wizard you probably don't need to cast ablation you're a badass so anyway uh, let's level 5 and it's a reformation touch one creature instantaneous and it does all these things and obviously you can do all kinds of stuff like acidic touch aching feet and, and it makes your feet stop aching I, I, I'm sure in his mind somewhere that made sense and I give him credit this is how a lot of real quote unquote spell books were written and spells against every wild animal aquatic creature and robbers which is not really a very catchy name for a spell but that is how they were written but then he's got the actual chant which kinda takes me out of it for because sometimes that's just not going to apply depending on the game you're running and it protects you from wild animals aquatic creatures and robbers because those three things just go together and against evil sleep um, take a flower of wild dates which have been beaten with milk you should make them together into a ball put in the wine exclamation mark making copies no something else entirely evil sleep so that's if you know you're going to be put to sleep soon take this first strangely this probably doesn't see a lot of use since most of the time evil sleep spells are used against you when you're not expecting it that's why they're evil sleep spells but if somehow you have forewarning here's your spell and it's pretty much uh, the creature loses the capacity to smile I can see where that would be real handy uh, here's protection from menstruation yeah um, alchemy alter temperature all for one exploits other characters or creatures mm, the, that joke writes itself uh, arachnid is, is silencing and this is just an A this is just the A's augment charisma augment debauchery it increases the debauchery of the target if the target creature does not desire to be touched then a brawling skill is required so you have to fondle them and grope them to increase their debauchery I 
just that's terrific and it goes on and allergies and poisons bestow aching back yeah man that's sure some games have fireball lightning bolt disintegrate but some wizards they like being a little more subtle when you give somebody an aching back they'll remember who you are no I don't think they will beguile enemy I mean some of those I mean they're yeah they're good for color they're good for character development I guess I mean yeah blistering boils that's pretty tough you'll be like oh yeah well now you got boils how do you like that it's not necessarily damage well it says they do 2d6 life points but I mean it's not really an attack exactly like blindness I mean that's those are kinda tough bestow century you age 100 years. that's kinda neat this, uh, so that basically that's age or wither but for some reason it's called bestow century and convulsions and there's 10 years instead of a hundred I don't know why and there's an earaches in case you just wanna maybe hang nails in here too and greater harm there's a headache I was close ingrown nail I I was joking but he was not because there it is hmm leprosy that's tough bestow millennium seems kind of overkill I guess on this on the uh, non-human races it would make sense but really millennium okay and next we find bestow toothache but in case that's not quite potent enough there's also bestow tooth rot for you naughty naughty fantasy adventures that don't get to the fantasy dentist chirurgian often enough okay yeah and ulcers and viruses and then brittle bone and burning bush convokes a deity to enter a bush makes the bush burn communicates with a low and booming voice is anyone offended yet we'll keep going then um business spell um Profits increase by 10% per caster in one shop. Probably a real, quote unquote, real spell, but do you need that in fantasy adventure to adult lechery? Do you need a business spell for the guy that runs an antique store? Of course, I guess whatever business you have in Fatal is probably tied to disgusting, yucky things anyway. Call avalanche and animals and ball lightning and blizzard and comets and chilly gust. Can't it just be storm? And fogs, gale wind. Call God. Uh, it's a lowercase g in case you're wondering call a god uh, guard dogs and greater items and lesser beings call maggots I don't know why you couldn't just create them I don't know why you need to call maggots magic mail so that's armor I don't know why it couldn't just be armor and termites and quakes and tidal waves and vermin and there's a thing to make people break up and coal foot oh to walk across coals I mean he's got a lot of historical mm, things in here 
things that were related to a real phenomenon from uh, real life, like people being able to walk across coals. He's convert to cannibals seems dubious. Uh, he's also got stuff related to actual role-playing game stuff. And cryoprobe doesn't seem very fantasy. Um, but the, but it's just defenestration to be ejected out the nearest window. That seems oddly specific. But hey, I'll roll with it, you know. Causes the skin of a target creature seen by the spellcaster to be peeled from their body? Decortication? Can't you just have a spell that does damage? Do you need that? I don't need that. And then he's got people's names like Democritos' table gimmicks and the chef's unable to light the burner because <laughs> man I love being able to cast prank spells in the date rape RPG which someone noted fatal is the date rape RPG only there are no rules for dating that's a very salient observation and in case you need to detect a choleric temperament this is the spell to do it I don't know why you'd need to detect that, but there you go. I do know, but it doesn't matter. No one will ever use that. Um, detect Evanescence, just in case you're not sure which group you're listening to. Yes, that is, ev that is Evanescence. No, I don't think that's what that's for. Uh, locate the presence of Evanescent or Invisible Creatures. Okay. Detect Inferiority. All my sensors are going off on this game. Oh. Um, and immorality. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, melancholic temperament. Morality. Uh, detect object. There's one. Oh, probably more specific than that. Uh, detect scent. And then this develop breasts. If the target creature does not desire to be touched by the spellcaster, which probably is a recurring theme in this game, whatever the target is, it probably doesn't desire to be touched by the spellcasters, whoever they are, regardless of what the spell is. Uh, the spell may be cast on any mammal, male or female, young or old, and you just whoop, there you go, now you got breasts. Um, there's no guarantee they'll be perky. The nipples may aim at the ground. Why did... If male breasts are developed, the male will not gain muscle nor breast milk. But the fatty deposits of the chest will augment. And a reduction of three in bodily attract... He actually... He took the time to decide three was the correct uh, reduction in body attractiveness not four he sat down at the table and thought when a guy develops breasts magic breasts how much should I subtract from the body attractiveness score which goes from one to 199 could be five five would be simple no that's not right that's too much three that's the right number for guys with big boobs and then if female breasts are developed then here's your modifiers and your cup sizes why is this here and discursivity and you can't hold a conversation without rambling and that makes a lot of sense for I wonder if there's a word for that for doing reviews of role playing games because this one causes that and drawn and quartered ejaculate acid blood poison we're in the ease if there's more than three of these something is seriously wrong 
Well, there's not more than three of these, but I still think something is seriously wrong. And there's Evanescence, and as we all know, that does mean invisible. So, Eternal Spell for Binding a Lover. There's that evil sleep that we learned to uh, protect ourselves against earlier. And False Alchemy, when you only pretend to turn lead into gold. I guess. Faceless. Uh, all life to instantly die on the current world of the spellcaster. Mm, at level 10, the annihilation, current world, duration's permanent. Um, the cause of death is without explanation except for the fact that it's this spell. It is the most powerful spell ever mentioned, and so far it has never been cast by a mortal. Um. Okay, why is it here, then? They don't go into it, it's just, here's that spell that nobody's ever cast, and we have no particular ideas on whether it's actually in a book, or you can find it, or if people have tried to cast it. And Fatal Fable, and Victory and Charm, and uh, Flight, and Fire, and For a Sleeping Woman, and Ascent of the Uterus, for an Erection. It's just maybe a little too plain. It causes a limp penis to... no, no. Blue Vein Throbber. Oh man, those are the best kind of catfish. Those blue vein throbbers just cooked him up on the no, 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 no. swollen testicles. Are you noticing a continuing theme? Well, then force fart is for you because I don't know why force fart is for you. You are a disgusting person, and I don't know why I'm making this for you. For sphere, for speed, for superiority complex, a lot of force here, and I'm not terribly surprised. Now, see, in other games, this would be called sleep. Uh, this is for slumber, which I can kind of appreciate. It's more mm, literal uh, title. But, I don't know. It seems kind of overblown to me. Greater Holocaust. Uh, incomprehensible burning damage. Awkward. Uh, hologram mending. Greater vulnerability to acid. How vulnerable do you need to be to acid? Isn't it just like, there's acid. Ow. My skin is burning. How how much more vulnerable can you be? Anyway, vulnerability to armor. Casting a spell causes an oh, causes an armored creature to become more vulnerable. Okay, that that was not making any sense in my head, and really, it still doesn't make any sense. But I'll pretend it does. And this is just the G's. Headless uh, causes the head of a character to appear to be missing. Okay, well that's not... Hearing voices, hurl voice, hover... Impotence, because that's important. Let's see what other important spells that you can't hardly ever do without in most role-playing games are in here. Internal Explosion... Um, incurs in a target... Um, Internal infestation summons creatures to infest the inside of a target. Intestinal wreath uh, causes a creature's intestines to emerge from their rectum and encircle the neck of their owner. Pretty sure that was a AD and D second edition spell. I might be wrong. Um, invincibility to bases, just in case you were attacked with. 
some really devastating bases. Um, it's not giving any examples. I can understand invincibility to acid. Bases, not so much. Uh, gaze attacks and ion ions. Does he know what an ion is? Uh, healings, holograms, mendings. Uh, lesser vulnerability to certain personality types. I'm I'm calling BS on that one. Uh, cause an unborn fetus to become diseased or deformed. Hmm. What's wrong with this guy? Anyway, love spells, lots of those. I have the feeling he needed those and they didn't work for him. Uh, madness. I think that one worked for him. Magical warning, martyrization, mass bidding. And okay, we've seen most of these. These are mass spells. Mass protections, mass teleportation. Uh, fires, uh, harmful, permanent division of a muscle. I can't that just be a damage spell do you need that yes modify molecules cause allows the caster to assume the form of anything within two feet of his height shape change or something like that is what other games call it but multiplication of loaves and fish no one knew Jesus had a fourth level spell from fatal but now you do. Um, it allows the bread and fish to multiply by 500 times. Only bread and fish may be multiplied because uh, unspecified. And each must be lighter than 5 pounds. All right. Thank you for that little bit of blasphemy. Near death experience, noose. Odium theologicum. Causes a hateful argument about religion to occur. Hmm. So that's what causes them. Uh, rearranges the teeth of the touch target so they are irregular. Who in their right mind and with their wizard says you know I was looking at some of these spells loaves and fishes would be handy in case we were starving I could produce 500 times the amount of food that we needed but I think I may take this one that lets me rearrange my enemy's teeth and make them irregular I think that seems like the better choice Um, this spell makes the target have to eat eggs to survive and anything other than eggs has to be regurgitated why why eggs why this spell at all that causes them to have to eat one thing and then why eggs does it have a basis in reality? It might. It, is it a medical condition? Maybe. Does it need to be in here? No. Ordained by God. Or uh, no. No, I, I already don't like where this is going, but I'll read it anyway. Casting this spell causes one orifice of the touch target to function as an anus and a mouth. Oro anal. I should have known that that's what exactly what it looked like. I was trying to make it sound not exactly what it looked like, but I should have known. Oro anal. For example, 
in nature a starfish is oroanal. It eats and defecates through the same orifice. Thank you, Marty Stauffer. For the spell to take effect, the spellcaster must, tu must touch the target creature. If the target creature does not desire to be touched, and why wouldn't they? Then the spellcaster must make a successful brawling check. If he successfully touches the target, then either the 1 to 50 anus or the 51 to 100 mouth becomes an oroanal orifice. If the anus becomes the orifice, then the mouth will become sealed shut. So then you have to reenact the South Park episode. No, I guess neither. I guess you only get one or the other. Defecation will occur as usual, but food, mu food must be shoved into the anus. If the mouth becomes, then the anus will be sealed shut. Eating will occur as usual, but defecation... I can't understand why Fatal gets a bad rap. I don't, I don't get it. People say bad things about it, and it's totally undeserved. Painberry. Perpetual bleeding. Palfrey is actually a dainty riding horse. Somewhere in the midst of all the rest of this batshit insanity, we've got the occasional halfway normal spell. Don't know how those slipped in there. Uh, perpetual burn. I think uh, that's actually what happens uh, pretty much the entire internet and all the jokes made about Fatal is a perpetual burn. Uh, perpetual orgasm. I Okay, let's read it. Hell, we're already here. Uh, touch the target creature. Don't want to be touched. Yada. I've successful the target creature will orgasm without end for, end for eternity. That seems somewhat powerful. As good as a never-ending or orgasm sounds, no creature is capable of remaining alive while experiencing a perpetual orgasm. Uh, it depends on the health, and every two minutes is the health check, which is normally a threshold of 30, and then increases by 15 every minute, or die of a heart attack. Even after death, the corpse continues to... No, I call BS on that. No, it will seem as though the corpse convulses from the hips. Uh, spellcasters often chuckle, thinking if you have to die, what a way to go. No, that's not funny. Uh, perpetual slumber, forced into eternal sleep. Okay. That's okay there. Typical fairy tale stuff. A pestilential host. Uh, if the target does not want to be a pestilential host, a brawling check has to be made. Well, I think that would... Mmm, pestilential penis. think I know where that's going. Pestilential p p pudenda. Oh. Causes all pudendas, which are vaginas. Why didn't you call it? Okay. Within the area of the spell to only give birth to deformed or diseased children. Oh, the more powerful version of that other one that was also totally disgusting and wrong. Hmm. Uh, in all other daily life, the pudenda seems to have no affliction. However, if someone... With a pestilential penis impregnates someone with a pestilential pudenda, the result will be determined by percentile dice. A healthy, normal child or born dead. Okay. Yes. Okay, pillar of smoke. These are all half, well, there's pillar of fire. Also, uh, let's see, pillar of salt there. You may remember this from such, uh, literary classics as the Bible. Um, pleasure Berry. Mm -hmm. Possession. Prayer of Deliverance. Predilection. Preservation. Preserved Forest. 
prognosticism. The lower half of the face protrudes beyond the upper half. Indicative of being primitive. And it's permanent. Why would you do that? Why is that a spell? <sighs> Protection spells, those are good. Okay. Alright, now maybe it's just me protection from physical harm seems like it's kind of useful seems like that would be a pretty tough spell to have for a lot of fantasy adventurers I I'm not saying I'm not into role playing or to taking some of the more outlandish spells over power gaming but if it's rearranging teeth or protection from physical harm I'm telling you it's at the very least it's a toss up just my two cents on the matter alright um let's see and puddle of crud invokes crud from elsewhere in the world who contact the puddle of crud are slowed that doesn't make any sense well there's the pudenda key spell so that ought to also not make any sense its area is one woman so that should be suitably offensive um take the egg of uh, casting this spell and having intercourse with the woman guarantees the woman will deeply love the caster regardless of his actions and she'll never have sex with another why spell casters select a pubescent girl whom they believe will become beautiful and remain pure, which they will because you're casting this spell and that's what it does. Um, cast the spell on her, seduce her, take her virginity and enjoy the rest of their life with a woman who has had none. Okay, well there's the fan service dream spell. Putrid portrait, raised prowess, random dismemberment. A randomly selected victim becomes dismembered. I think I would probably just have to kill a party member in his sleep that had that spell. Just, if, even if he's my best pal, he's like, hey, I just got this new spell, random dismemberment. It, it just dismembers somebody randomly in the area. Oh yeah, that's cool. Well, good night. And random impaling. Uh, someone within the area becomes impaled by randomly selected sharp or pole-like objects. Did did somebody with these spells work on the set of Final Destination or what? Random mangling. Reanimation. I think we've seen that one before, Jeffrey Combs. Mm, recipe for blindness. So, so these are recipes here. Mm -hmm. Rend asunder. 4D 100 times 10 IP of objects torn to pieces. It's level 6. Um, the restraining right for anything. There's resurrecting a dead body. Reverse magic, revivication, requiring an assistant demon, driving out demons, and rots and rivers running red, and the mm, yeah, seal orifice. Popular options for seal orifice include anus, ear, mouth, nostril, or vagina. Really, those are popular? Really? 
Soul Stealer's Black Bolt. Causing talking while asleep. Questioning corpses. Catching thieves. Um, strength and stronger than before. Two different spells. Spermatozoic Rejuvenation and Spermicidal Sphere. This guy... It's not even fun anymore. I'm just... This is like shooting fish in a barrel. I'm just... It's incredible. Test of pregnancy. Um, but there's a handy bug repellent spell for all you fantasy adventurers that keep getting plagued with bugs winning at dice. Now I could be useful for your gamblers. Uh, transmogrification, dirt and mud, I don't really, true name and all that, unattractive, varicose veins, wet dream, yeah, um, penis or vagina will seep one fluid ounce. Why is that there? Why do you need that? You don't. And magical items will be the next section. And I'm going to stop it there for right now.